all right friends in this question we are given a hollow lens is made of a thin glass and in the shape of a double concave lens okay so first of all we have a double concave lens here let's just draw that concave lens in this case say this is a, a double concave lens now we know that if the double concave lens here let's just draw two of these now uh, this concave lens the first one say if this concave lens has a refractive index inside it say that is n2 and outside refractive index is n1 and if this n2 is greater than n1 then this uh, biconcave or double concave lens acts as a diverging lens this is the first condition so second condition is that if its refractive index is n2 outer refractive index is n1 and in this case if n2 is less as compared to n1 then this lens it behaves as a converging lens so this is uh, from the theory of lenses that uh, a biconcave or double concave lens if its refractive index the material which is making up the lens it is more as compared to the surrounding air then this behaves as a diverging lens that means any ray which is parallel to the principal axis after striking it this will diverge out like this and any ray which is uh, parallel to the principal axis will converge towards the uh, principal axis if the refractive index of the material of the prism this uh, is uh, less as compared to uh, the refractive index of the surrounding air now uh, it can be filled with air we are given here in the question that this material it can be filled with air water of refractive index 1.33 or cs2 of refractive index 1.6 fine so it will act as a diverging lens if it is first of all uh, this is the condition that is asked it needs to behave as a diverging lens so that means n2 uh, inside should be greater than n1 so this is the case we have to see in first case we are given it is filled with air and immersed in water so if it will be filled with air inside it is air and outside is water that means n2 will be of air that is equal to 1 and n1 will be of water that is uh, 1.33 that means this condition will be uh, n2 will be less as compared to n1 so this won't be acting as a diverging lens this will be acting as a converging lens second case we are given uh, that n2 it is filled with water and immersed in cs2 so n2 here that is inside material it is water that is 1.33 outside n1 this will be uh, cs2 that is 1.6 here again n2 is less than n1 this is not the condition we are looking for then c part we are given it is filled with air and immersed in cs2 so if it is filled with air that means n2 is 1 and uh, outside is cs2 that means n1 is 1.6 then again n2 is less than n1 it is not the condition we are looking for so obviously in option d it is filled with cs2 that means n2 here is 1.6 and it is immersed in water that is n1 here is 1.33 here we see that n2 is greater than n1 so this is going to act as a diverging lens so uh, the correct option here should be option d answer d is the correct option